Welcome to Chewing the Cud. We are back again with your weekly roundup of showbiz news, chuckles from the internet, and of course our life lesson. But before we kick off, we're going to guzzle the isotonic sports drink that is Lee. And I'm back with some fabulous showbiz news, including a story about an LGBTQ hippity hoppity artist. And I've got some itty bitty things that you may have missed from the internet, including a new story craze that's happening. If you want to keep up to date with all of our doings and leavings, you can always find us at The Could TV on your social media sites. And don't forget our website is thecud.tv. And if you want to listen to us, have a little search for Chewing the Cud on the podcast apps. Right, Mike, I've just seen the post-it note that you left on my chair. No, nope, wasn't me. Can't prove anything. You're the only other person in the studio, Mike. Seriously, it's not funny. So let's just play... Game of the Week. The producer has decided to quit his part-time job as a trainee milkman. He says it messed up his sleep patterns as he would spend half the night tossing and then wake up stiff in the morning. So while he's recuperating, he's asked us to play a game of phobia or fake. Let's get the first one up, please. Gamophobia, or gamophobia, is the fear of commitment. I couldn't decide what to say, gamophobia or gamophobia. I would have gone for gamophobia. Yeah, I just couldn't decide. So I couldn't commit on an answer. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> yeah. So do you have this? Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I think it definitely is. I you think. do think it definitely is? Definitely is. Yeah. I thought, I thought it might be like a fear of gammon. <laughs> fear of monopoly. <laughs> yeah. Because monopoly, you know, we've just had Christmas, so lots of families aren't talking to anybody anymore because someone had Mayfair with a hotel. But we don't play get monopoly. You know? No, it goes horribly wrong. Yeah. Somebody steals. From the uh, bank. <laughs> Is that you? Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Maybe. Um, I'm good. Well. Sam saying it is. I'll say it isn't, just for balance. Just for balance. Shall yeah. We, shall we get it up? Let's if it's see. right then? It's a phobia. It's a phobia. Yeah. Gamophobia. So, is that what you. When you like go on a first date, is that mm -hmm. what you open with? See, I don't just have... to let you know, I'm <laughs> gamophobic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not scared of commitment. Okay. It's just I'm really picky. Oh, okay. To, to date someone, that is. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's have another one. Philophobia is the fear of love. Mm. Is it not the fear of Phil Collins? This is studio. I can feel it calling in the air tonight. <laughs> that, that is a limit of, of yeah, any Phil Collins it. song that's, I know. That's it. I just yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think it is. I don't think it is a fit. No. I, I, I will also go, I will say for balance that it for is. For balance, the, that it is the fear yes. of love. Of love, yeah. And I don't think it. it is the fear of love. Let's see. It is? Oh. Is it just all about you today? <laughs> <laughs> I, I also don't have the fear of love. It's just it doesn't happen very often. Is it just love in general or specific <laughs> love, like love for another or self-love? I quite like self-love. Mm. If you can't love yourself, how Wait are you going to get through a pandemic? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It'd be bad if you had, like, fear of yourself, love, wouldn't you? Like, woo! Every time you look. <laughs> <laughs> what would you be doing every time you look? <laughs> <laughs> woo! It's there. That's um, my new ringtone for you. <laughs> so going, woo! <laughs> oh. I'm not doing well this week, no, am I? You know, should we get the next one up, see if you can have another go? Lachinophobia is the fear of broccoli. What do you think? What do you not, what do you not be like bro broccolophobia? Well, no, because broccoli is just what we, we call it. It's not its actual name. Oh. But it is a brassica, so I'm going to say it's not true. Oh. I don't think that is a phobia of broccoli. Can you have a fear of broccoli? No. It's not like it. You've just demonstrated about fear of your own genitals, so... No, I didn't say I had the fear of my own genitals. Oh, Other people. Demonstrated <laughs> it, I didn't say you had it. <laughs> Other people are terrified of it. Um, I've heard. <laughs> anyway, back to broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> ever, since, ever since you had that um, exposure incident, isn't it? Is it scary? <laughs> it looks like a broccoli head. Um, I... <laughs> it shouldn't do, though. <laughs> 
Uh, now I'm scared of broccoli. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with, I'll go with yes, it is a fear yes. of broccoli. Okay. Shall we see? It is. It is. You've got one right. Yeah. One right. Who knew? Mm. I wonder if people like walk around the supermarkets and they have like a lanyard on. <laughs> <off. laughs> right. I don't have to wear a mask and I've got a fear of broccoli, so yeah. don't take me down the veg trial. Don't, yeah. Frozen or fresh. Do you think people got a fear of, of cauliflower as well? <sighs> Could be the same thing, you know, is it... Are you okay with broccoli but not cauliflower or cauliflower not broccoli? Is that a thing? What about those tiny Brussels sprouts? Tiny Brussels sprouts? Or Brussels sprouts as they're also... Or Brussels sprouts in general. <laughs> I was trying to think of another vegetable that had a kind of a leafy... Like cabbage? Yeah. Or kale? Ooh. I, I like kale. Do you? Yeah. Why? Because it's tasty. Mm, okay. I like it deep fried. Good for you, Kale. <laughs> Should we pull another one up? Q Cucophobia. 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 Well, whatever it is, it's is is it the fear of cucumbers? Mm. For some reason I've got uh, dad's army in my head now. They don't like it open. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. I've never, well, I've seen those videos online where people put a cucumber behind a cat. Yes, and, and then the, the cat, cat sees it goes, into oh. the air. Yeah. So potentially it could be, um, but I've never had a problem <laughs> with a cucumber. <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> mm. I do enjoy it. What are the little cucumbers called? I don't know. Are they, because there's like big <laughs> cucumbers. Cucumbers. Yeah, and then there's like... Cucumbers. Are they, what what do you make out of cucumbers? I, well, I put mine in gin and tonic. Isn't, is or there, do they not make gherkins out of cucumbers? Oh, gherkins are different. Okay. Gherkins are gherkins, because they're knobbly. Okay. What is the thing that they put on the burgers? Uh, um, beef, cheese? No, bread. the green slimy thing that you always throw off. Oh, I don't know, I don't ask for it. Oh, okay. That, that's a pick. That is a gherkin, then. Okay, but they're not. They're not the same. They're not. They're not a cucumber, but they're similar to a cucumber. They're in the family. They're in the family. Cucumbers. Right? Anyway, um, I'm going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to say yes because there's got to be a reason for us having to talk about cucumbers <laughs> for what feels like time. a week. Oh, it's fake. I was tr so. Um, oh, so cucophobia is is not the fear of cucumbers, but. Concom Brevotophia beer is the fear of flying cucumbers. Oh, that's a perfectly... See, I don't even think that's a phobia. That's a valid fear. No one wants to be sort of like, sat there minding their own business and something whaps them across the face. Well, it didn't say anything about whapping them across the face. They might just fly past the window and you'd be terrified. Like a cat going... <laughs> 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 right out of your armchair, and then sit back down again, and you're like, oh, I'm fine now. Um, what a strange world we live in. <laughs> yes. Oh, shall we just have a little points check in? I don't have the fear of points, so therefore. <laughs> you have the fear of losing them. <laughs> Two points each. Two points each. Shall we have a tiebreaker? Let's have a tiebreaker. Come on, mate. <laughs> see what you see. See what I see. I see it. The fear of buttons. <laughs> yes. And what's the thing at the top? Is it cumonpontophobia? Cumonophobia. Well, this is a genuine thing because my partner has a fear of buttons. Really? Yeah. Not like buttons on a shirt mm -hmm. or like on the trousers. Like chocolate ones? No. Um, like if there's like a, a, a jar of buttons okay. on a shelf. If you go in a shop, there are jars of, you know. In a haberdashery, In a yes. haberdashery yeah. in the 1800s. <laughs> <laughs> they have haberdasheries now. Do they still have yeah, them? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or if, like, we've been placed somewhere where there's been, like, artwork that incorporates buttons, mm -hmm. not happy. No. So what happens when he sees these jars of buttons and stuff? They don't like them. Oh, so it's not actually a fear. Yeah, it doesn't scream and run <laughs> off. <laughs> it's not like <laughs> going, ah! Chase him through the haberdashery. <laughs> Woo! I can see you doing that. With a, jar, <laughs> with a jar of pearlescent buttons. Woo! Um, yeah, so. I now have this image of sites then making a giant statue out of buttons. Yeah. And then you'd or, you know, 
covering a whole shirt in buttons. <laughs> Just going, <laughs> um, I, I think, well, I know it's a genuine thing, but I don't know if that's the exact name of it. Okay. So you're saying that? I'm saying it is a thing. Are you saying that that word is what it is? Okay, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> We've had this before in previous episodes <laughs> where you've changed your mind. <laughs> okay, and just for balance, I shall say it's not. But you will be wrong. So shall we have see. a look? It is. It is. So shall we check the scores? Three, two to you. Boom. Are we having another one or is that it? No, that's it. Then. Oh, is that it? That's it. I was on a roll then. That's I was all. quite enjoying well, you've, it. You've won. Do you want, do oh, you want right, to risk okay. it? Okay, that's fine. No. Anyway, still to come, we are bringing you the next of our epic life lessons. And just after the break, it's Arlie with the showbiz. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we whiz over to the man who, when he was recently sent an unsolicited nude, asked if it came with more sequins. It's Lee with the showbiz. Never have too many sequins. Yeah, but... Which brings me ah. to this. So, you know the present that Father Christmas got me for the, Christmas last year? The, the lovingly... Bought present for yeah, of, yeah, of Crocs, bright of yellow Crocs. Crocs. You, you adored and wore. I did, but yeah. I've made them even better. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. Bejazzled them. They are bejazzled. They're beautiful. And do you know what? I've wore them, I've worn them to the shopping. <laughs> to the shopping. <laughs> to the shopping. To the shopping place. And not a single person came anywhere near me. Oh. I wonder why. <laughs> Had you defecated again? No, I think they were jelly of my Crockies. They are very special. They are, aren't they? I've literally quadrupled the price of them. Oh, okay. Justin Bieber. Pfft. Who are you? Whatever. I'm going to put them down there now. <laughs> You're going to put them down there. Don't so slip them on under the desk. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sexy. So, first bit of showbiz news. Mm. The actor Elliot Page uh -huh. has announced that he is transgender. Yeah. So, do you, are you aware of this actor? Yes, I am. Love the, love the Umbrella Academy. I do like the umbre 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 umbrella. Umbre 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 I do, so yeah. It sets your tongue off. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a picture of him as the character in the Umbrella Academy. Mm -hmm. he, um, he plays um, a character called Vanya Hargreaves. Yeah. Um, so he has he has come out as transgender. Mm -hmm. He's married. Yeah. We've got. I think we've got a picture here of him with his wife. So he put a lengthy statement on Twitter mm. announcing, he said, I want to share with you that I am trans. My pronouns are he, they, and my name is Elliot. I can't express how remarkable it feels to finally be who I am in, in, enough to pursue my authentic self. So loads of people supported him on mm. Twitter, loads of celebrities. Um, Patricia Arquette, whose brother was transgender himself, um, sadly took his own life. Right. Um, so, so yeah, loads and loads of people have have given support. Mm -hmm. um, as usual, there's the usual backlash from the gammons who are like... Um, his husband uh -huh. has gone onto social media to say, shut up, basically. You don't know what's going on in our lives. Don't judge. Keep your opinions to yourself. Um, Netflix, which are the company who produced the Umbrella Academy, yeah, yeah. Have, have said that, that Elliot will continue to play the role as Vanya um, because in, in the, in the programme, Vanya is a cisgender woman whose superpower, super super power even, mm -hmm. involves unleashing force through the use of sound. Ooh. What they said is that the character will remain as part of the show, unchanged, mm -hmm. um, with Elliot continuing the role as he always has. So, you it's know, just, there's no... There's it makes no... sense, though, because, you know, mm. men and women have always played different roles. Mm. Yeah, if you think about um, theatre and pantomime and all that sort of thing, you can... You don't have to stick with the gender that you are no. to play that role. So, yeah, no. well done, Netflix, and well yeah. done, Elliot. And well done, Elliot, yeah. Um, next bit of showbiz news. So, Harry Styles, in, in November last year... Um, was the cover of, of the magazine. Not in your traditional what kind of clothes. He decided to go with a ball gown. Um, okay. So we've got a picture of him 
um, in the outfit that he wore. So he's got a lovely ball gown and he's got a nice tuxedo. I'm not a fan of that ball gown. Are I mean, you not? I, I don't have a problem with him wearing a, a ball gown or a dress, whatever the hell he wants to wear, but I'm not a fan of that ball gown. Why? It, it's, it's too... <laughs> it's too frilly. It's too frilly? It's too much of a muchness. Well, if you're going to go ball gown, go big. But you can still look classy and it looks a bit draggy. Are you saying that he's not looking classy? I, I think he looks a bit draggy. Are I want, think are you one season of the one, RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> oh. Well, he didn't just wear that. There was a number of different oh, okay. outfits That's that he wore. Should we have a look at another outfit? So... <laughs> See, I, I like that Do you one. like that a bit That's better? A Is that more, a bit better? I, That's a little bit more avant-garde and edgy. OK. So that, that's got a bit more to it. Yeah. It's not just a frilly knicker thing. Frilly knicker thing? Very lots of knickers. Well, the, the gallery are saying that it's giving them um, Sound of Music vibes <laughs> on, the, on the top of a mountain. Um, anyway, he wore it. It was amazing. Yeah. But as per usual... We have the haters. Oh, and the more gammons. They're the more gammons. Um, a woman called Candence Owens from the, from the US mm -hmm. did not like this and was not happy. Yeah. And she posted a very long um, sort of rant on Twitter about how he and people like him mm -hmm. are, are reducing the, the effect of manlyhoodness in the community of men. What? So she wants she she started the she started the hashtag bring back manly men manly men okay mm -hmm. so Harry has has kind of replied to this he's kind of like gone oh, no, no. so he's he said to not wear something because it's female clothing you shut out a whole world of great clothes mm -hmm. which fair enough I indeed in fact am wearing a lady's kimono okay. <laughs> at this very moment um, and it's making me feel special so he said. What's exciting about right now is you can wear what you like. It doesn't have to be X or Y. Those lines are becoming more and more blurred. He did post quite a cheeky um, tweet with a photograph of himself. So we've got the picture of that. So he, in this photograph, he is wearing, um, uh, uh, not you know, it's a not particularly mask suit. Mm -hmm. It's got frills on it. He's eating a banana suggestively. Okay. Um, and he's kind of like a, so she, so she's, he's like, whatever, I'll wear what I want, mm -hmm. you know, chill. She replied, when people try to tell me I don't have influence and then at Harry Styles dedicates an entire post to me, I inspire global conversation. Hashtag bring back manly men. Think she kind of didn't get the grip of the, of the grasp of what was being said. What, what was her name? She's called Candence Owens. Candence Owen. I've never heard of the woman no, before. No, never heard of her. Don't need to be manly men. Don't need to be a manly man. Nope. You could be whoever you want to be. Just if you be want to be a manly man, be. that's fine. Yeah. If I would say to... occasionally I do get my manly man on. I don't. <laughs> I've heard you. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, you know, you can quite often find me in the women's clothing section of, of at George. <laughs> <That's> the... <laughs> <laughs> Thumbing through the through the sale. I guess when Bon Marsh went to administration, you were there, weren't you? Oh, Bon Marsh, eh? <laughs> a lot, I will be back in there, yeah. Expect next week a full-on ball gown, <laughs> just for you. Now, the last bit of showbiz news is, uh, I say, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going to have to hands up, I'm not really up with the hip-hop community. Hippity-hoppity. The hippity-hoppity, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, I'm so, shocked by that, Newsley. Hmm? Shocked. Are you shocked by it? Yeah. It's not, it's not for me. But, you know, I'm, I'm open to all music. Mm -hmm. So there, we have, there is, there is a, a hippity-hoppity artist mm -hmm. called Lil Nas X. Ah, yes. I not little, Lil. Lil, Lil Na Nas X. Little. I like, like little girls out of um, Annie. Little girls, little girls. It's not little, it's Lil. Yeah, I don't think he would like that comparison. Do you? Yeah, he would. OK. So he, so he, he is LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. He identifies as queer. We've got a picture of him here wearing one of my outfits uh -huh. uh, that I would like back, please, because <laughs> um, I've got somewhere to go in that funeral. <laughs> <laughs> and I need my pink cowboy outfit. So he has released... So, so his big breakthrough song mm -hmm. was Old Town Road. Yep. Do you know it? I do. I don't know it. Do I do. Know. I've seen the video had, and I've um, heard it. It had um, what's her face, the the slutty one, her dad, Billy Ray Cyrus. Oh, 
Billy Ray Cyrus is in it as well. You're saying Billy Ray Cyrus is it? Miley is Cyrus dull. is slutty. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Miley Cyrus is a bit slutty. Oh, right. So what was what was Billy Ray Cyrus doing in the video? Singing. Singing. Yeah, he was. Did he have his it. mullet? Yeah, there's his mullet. It was really? his calf, yeah. Oh, right, OK, yeah. I must I must watch this. Yeah. Well, that apparently was a massive hit. It was, yeah, so people the, didn't know that half the people in it. On the interweb. <laughs> <laughs> so he has released a song called Holiday. Mm -hmm. um, this is the cover of it. Mm -hmm. um, now, it's, it's we've just had Christmas, so it's still mm -hmm. kind of current. The video is very, very expensive, mm -hmm. and he portrays different personas of, of Father Christmas. OK. Um, in a kind of... So, so we've got... Thorsten Baker fit. foils. He, he is fit. Okay. Would Would you like to see that coming down your chimney? I, not just down my chimney. Oh. 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 Clear my flu oh. out. Down we go. Um. Path and all. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he has said that um, it's 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 his interpretation of Father Christmas. It racked up something like seven hundred thousand views after ten minutes being on the mm -hmm. on the YouTube. But apparently, I was responsible for about half of those. Were you? Did yeah. you have a repeat constantly? Yeah. Apparently, it's about being a bottom. Mm -hmm. I don't get and it. Topping. And topping. Oh, yeah. Bottom and topping. Um, we we have some of the lyrics, but I don't know if I'm allowed to say them. And me saying them would make it really really unsexy. I might bottom on the low. But I top shit. But I top shit. That doesn't sound nice. Anyway, if 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 saucy Santas are your thing, and you are a bottom or indeed a top, please check out this record on your radio stations. That that's the end of the show is news. Well, thank you, Lee. Um, I'm not going to be able to get that picture of little Nas X out of my head, which is a good thing. Um, but coming soon, we have the next of our life lessons. And don't go anywhere, because coming up after the break, it's Mike with the buzz. Welcome back to Chewing the Good. Now it's time to talk to the person who hasn't had sex in so long. He's frightened that they've changed the way they does it. It's Mike in the buzz. <laughs> Yeah, I think I've forgotten how to douche as well. Did we need that? Well, you brought up the fact I've not had sex for so long and I've forgotten they might have changed it. So I've been beavering away on the internet, trying to find fun things and a way of getting you through through the day. Oh. Yeah. Um, how do you deal with rage? Anger, violence. Yeah, how do you deal with that? Destroy people. Destroy people. Yeah, okay. and things. Well, I think I've found the thing for you then. Have you? Yeah. Um, because there's a, a place where you can take out your last year's 2020 rage mm -hmm. on cars with shotguns and a tank. Ooh. So this is a scrap, scrap dealer in the middle of England who is charging £26 per person to, for you to take a shotgun and a tank on scrap metal cars. Just take out your rage and fire I feel away. my manly man coming out. Can you really? <laughs> yeah. I'll just pop it back. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what that noise was. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Um, space is limited, so it's already sold out. Oh. So it's too late for you to do anything about it. Oh. Yeah, but I thought that was a really good idea. I, 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 to be fair, I have heard of these, but in America, mm -hmm. there are places where you go and they give you a baseball bat and they put you in a room full of, like, Glass and vases, vases and stuff, and just let you go for it. You have to wear like protective clothing yeah, yeah. and stuff. Well, you'd have to wear a mask, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm all up for that. Can I not just go to a car park and do it? N no, no. Don't go to a car park or don't don't go anywhere like to Lakeland and with a baseball bat. Well, that's just taking the fun out of that, then, hasn't it? <laughs> it has, yeah. Because you know, getting arrested probably won't help with the rage. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> just, just a tip. <laughs> no, not even just a tip. <laughs> <laughs> um, talking about um, the tip. Yes. <laughs> nice little segue there, Lee. <laughs> um, controversy has happened. Controversy? Controversy. Right. Okay. As a swingers party organiser feels awful after dozens have tested positive for coronavirus. Okay. So this is this. <laughs> your, your face is a picture with that. Yes, they, they wear masks. 
um, because that's that's just to hide our identity, not for any okay. not for safety reasons. Um, but yeah, organised a swindlers party. Lots of people attended. Can't really social distance. No. No. Um, one person tested positive, and of course, then your app goes off. Mm. And tells you you have to go and get tested as well. And okay. Lots and lots of people have been told to go and get tested. And about, I think it was something like 25 people got tested positive. Well, good luck explaining to their employers where they got... Well, the... you don't have to explain to your employer. Do you like, not? No. No, because your app tells you whether you've been in contact with someone. Okay. Right? So when I'm in work, I'm scanning to go in, and then it tells me if someone near me has been tested positive. So to be fair, it doesn't say. It doesn't say. Bidding, Barbara was at a swingers party last Tuesday, and that's where she got COVID. She's also riddled. She had a face buried between Brian's butt cheeks. Exactly, um, and that's where she got it. <laughs> but he was wearing a mask, so we're not sure how it happened. <laughs> I don't. Th I don't think they would be wearing a mask all the time if they're doing sexy times. Oh, no, I just went in between Brian's butt oh, cheeks. Oh, okay. A mask's not going to help, is it? No. 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 Um, <laughs> but, to be, but, but now that that is in the news, mm -hmm. in that area, if your employer rings in and says, I can't come in because I've been tested, you would, or you would just go, oh, OK. I just assume anyway. Yeah, just assume, just assume, you've, assume been, anyway. you've been at an orgy anyway. Another orgy, yeah. Um, oh, I'm a bit dry. Have you got a drink? I do, yeah, thanks. Yeah. OK, just making sure. Um, because the next story is all about lovely things you can put in your face. OK. Um, now, you're not a big alcoholic drinker, are you? I'm not, no. You're not? No. Okay. I think you might like this one, though. Ooh. Which is a company that started selling blue wine. Blue wine. Blue, blue, wine. blue nun? No, not blue nun. That's just the name of, of the wine. OK, it's not actually blue. It's not actually blue. Right, OK. It's just, it's normal coloured. So, Bloomond by Serenely Wines. <laughs> Bloomond? Bloomond. OK. Yeah? It's a blue drink. It just looks like an Alka Pop. It's, it's made with grapes. Well, why do they make it go blue like that? Food colouring, probably. I don't know. <laughs> don't be bringing half a story. They're not, not going to tell you your trade secrets. How do we make our exclusive blue wine? Oh, you do this, this, and this. It's not. It's, it's, it looks like antifreeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, you know. OK, so not not. not it's not a game pickle. changer. Not tickling your pickle? It's not. It's not yeah. making me want to go down Sainsbury's and get a crate full. OK. Well, if, you, if you're not... If you don't Fancy that one. How about this drink instead? Hellman's mayonnaise soft drink. No. No. <laughs> that is rank. How do you know you've not tasted it? Because because the thought of drinking <laughs> fizzy mayonnaise. Fizzy mayonnaise <laughs> is not appealing whatsoever. I've burped up fizzy mayonnaise after a sandwich, you know. How does it become fizzy? Well you get that fizzy sick burp, don't you? That repeaty burp. Not often. People at home know this. That yeah, if you've like eaten a lot. Uh -huh. You go, oh, sorry, sick bird. Oh, that was fizzy, that was. Is it thick? No, it's thin. It's a fizzy pop. Ugh. Just taste of mayonnaise. Not nice. No? OK. And if something makes you think, oh, I know who'd like that, and you think of us, why not share it? Just give us a cheeky tag or mention using the Could TV on all of your social media platforms. Like a herring at a fishmonger's, our inbox is waiting for you to fill it. OK. <laughs> Fill it, fish miners. Fill it. Yeah. Well, never mind. Let's move on to the story of the week. And this week, it's actually a story. So these books have come out um, last year, and they are the funniest thing I've ever seen for a child. OK, so I've got one here for you, and I'd like us to read it to each other. And wh what's the story called, Lee? It's Do You Want to Play With My Balls? Yes. Yes, the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. So what we'll do is I'll, I'll read a page, and then you can read a page. Okay. Hey, Louie, do you want to play with my balls? Picture. Sure, Chuck. I can hold your ball sack so it won't drag on the ground. Wow. Your balls are so big, I can't even fit them in my mouth. My mom's always yelling, Louie! Get those balls out of your mouth before you choke. <laughs> you know that mean girl, Sally? She squeezed my balls so hard that they looked funny. Yeah. 
Well, when I play with Sally, I always end up with blue balls. Billy Johnson made Sally cry last week. <laughs> now that kid's got balls. We clearly know the level of Mike's um, humour here. <laughs> Not anymore. Yesterday, Sally kicked Billy's ball so hard, he lost one. Bibby. Look, Louie, your dog is licking my balls. <laughs> Let's roll them on Sparky's fur. Girls hate hairy balls. You know, Chuck, if we show Sally our hairy balls, she'll scream for sure. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I kind of like Sally. I wish she would just play nice with my balls. Sally, do you want to play with our balls? <laughs> I can't go. <laughs> sure, but only if I can play with both of your balls at the same time. <laughs> the end. <laughs> That was, are you sure you didn't write these? <laughs> I didn't write these. There's a whole selection of them. Do you, do you think that they are intentionally <laughs> smutty? I think they might be intentionally oh, okay. a bit full of innuendo. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's a visually stunning treat. It is. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, the pictures are lovely. They're lovely, very graphic. Yes, yeah. words are too. Hmm. Is what? What's the next one? What? What are the other in the in the line? Oh, there's a whole selection of them. Will you flick my bean? <laughs> <laughs> I think there is one that's like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> Tickle my tip. Oh, it's endless. <laughs> well, I think I think I've been educated today. Stay tuned as after this comes our life lesson. Nothing to do with balls. Welcome back. And it's the part of the show that was once referred to as, oh no, not this again. It's our. Life Lessons. So what are we doing this week, Lee? Well, first off, I really didn't think that we would be having to drag this through into 2021. I okay. thought we would have left it there. But no, it's come through. It's oh, come back. Has it? Yeah, so this week we're going to do something a bit fun. Okay. And when I say fun, fun. Fun, yeah. brackets. It's, it's never so, actual fun. Never ever fun. So in front of you, you'll have a tray. I do indeed have yeah, a tray. Yeah, and, and, in front, and in the tray, you have a selection of um, snacky treats. Oh, lovely. So, yeah, and you've got, got like bourbon biscuits. Don't eat any of them yet. Oh. Um, you've got some shortbread. You've got some, you've got some noppers. Are they not called knoppers? Are they? Knoppers? Noppers? Yes. Anyway, so the reason we've got all this stuff is, is that there is a bit of a, a, a trend at the moment of oh. making um, snacky treats into things. Oh, well. Yeah. There was that, that one thing that I did with an ice pop, but it didn't really work out very well. Still got the burns around you. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. It's not good. Um, so, we have a photograph here of the thing that we will be creating today. Oh. Um, we're going to be making little houses okay. out of um, sweeties. Oh, lovely. And bickies. Yeah? Okay. We're not making three. Well, that's all right. I was thinking that's We're just a lot. making one. So, okay. I hope just... you've memorised that picture. Yes, I have. Right, okay. Because we're going to do it blindfolded. What is it with you and blindfolds? I just like it. 
it's just nice. And then he uh, shout at me. So what I would, before you put your blindfold on, uh -huh. I would open any of the um, packets because obviously okay. you're not going to be able to open them. It's bubblegum frosting. So your frosting is going to be your glue. That's my, it's, <coughs> it's very strong. So yeah, I would I would open all your um, packets. Oh, licorice! I like licorice. Because once you've got your blindfold on, that will be a bit difficult to do. Yeah, I can get into a biscuit with a blindfold on. Um, so yeah, so that's what I need to make. Yeah, yeah. Anyone? Not in that. Not exactly that. But you know, we want four walls. Uh -huh. We want a roof. We want a chimney. Okay. We want a little door. And we want some kind of foliage. Um, some sort of what? Some foliage. 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 That even in your, there should be in your little pack of sweeties, your uh -huh. little dish, a tiny little person. She's wearing a pink Oh, yes. Oh, okay. That's a tiny little yeah. person. And we want her to be at the front of the house. Okay. Okay. So, um, it's up to you, how, you know, whether you use the, these ones as a base or walls, whatever you want, as long as... This packet will not let go. There we go. Oh, it's gone away now. Uh, gone okay. away. That's so, better. Are you, are you ready? Have you got all your accoutrements? Yes, I've got everything. Right. So now you need you need to put the glasses... No, the, well, you can take glasses off if you want. I will have to, because you... Oh. You accuse me of cheating when I leave. I do, yeah. Are you masked up? Almost. Right, I am mask. Go. You're a mask. Yes. Okay, so, on your marks, mm -hmm. get set, yep. go. However you want to do it. Just feel around on your tray. So yeah. I'm trying to remember what that house looked like. We have four, four walls. A bob. Um, roof. That kind of stuff. And I've got... Don't... Uh, yeah, it, 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 it's a little That's bit tricky. Name, it yeah, it, it's it's difficult to find the things. Oh. I think what... what uh. With the knife, you can use that as the glue to kind of, like, stick stuff together. OK. Are you eating them? No. Am I allowed to eat the biscuits? No, you can't eat anything. OK. So you're not eating those biscuits? No. I can hear chewing. Got a very dry throat. Uh-huh. It's just the rasping. Uh-huh, okay. I really don't like the smell of bubblegum though. This is putting me off. Well, you know. It's I would imagine it's all natural flavours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I need to put walls up. Really tricky, isn't it? It is. I'm not, I'm not having a lot of fun here. Somewhere. Is that a bourbon? Yeah, bourbon -y. How are you doing? I'm all right, actually. I'm getting there. I've got, I've got my walls up. Well, I'm just mm -hmm. doing one, one more wall now. And then. Oh, no. What? Oh, one of my biscuits is broken. Oh, no. I hope that's not a... Is that, is that now you're going to eat it, then? No, well, I can't see it. I can only feel it. OK. That, I think that was a load bearer. And I've done my roof. Okay, so I've got my little lady as well. I'm gonna stick there. Garden. I'm very sticky. Oh, oh. I have a bruise somewhere as well. Ooh, don't, 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 don't be spilling. I won't spill, I don't have any health is. How, how are you doing? I think I'm having difficulty. I think, I think I'm done, actually. You think you're done? I've done my walls, I've done my roof. There, the, the, you must have all the, the, the right things, so we need a door, we need windows. A yeah, How a little front door. A front door. Front door. Um, okay. And a chimney. Front door. I can't find my thing now. Where is it? There it is. Just gonna... Right, front door. Okay. And a chimney. That feels like a chimney. 
it did, I think, on the picture, mm -hmm. it used um, a licorice all sort for a... I think that's what I've just used. It oh, was okay. square. I think, I think if we just start putting the finishing touches. Yeah. Put some more garden stuff on, it's fine. Right, I'm done. I'm gone. You are eating biscuits, I can hear it. I'm not. I'm not. Suddenly being a flower pot, man. Time's up. <laughs> Is it really? <laughs> well, you can take your mask off now. All right, okay. Oh, that looks brilliant. Oh, good effort. But... Right, the amount of food all over your face. <laughs> Where did you get think... cotton wool from? I pulled it on my belly button. <laughs> white belly button fluff. Mm -hmm. Kind of weirdo white. So sometimes they're just things that you're better at than other things. Uh huh. And I think that just kind of proves it. Okay. Beautiful. Do you prefer yeah. the towering inferno of blue over there? I end up quite phallic. <laughs> or. <laughs> My hand-created, beautiful, almost replica of the picture. Hang on a minute, how, how have you used, used the pink stuff? And it's, uh, so I've used like a ton of it, and you've like used hardly any, and you've not spilt any anywhere. Economical, babes. Mm. I'm just very, very talented, what can I say? Yeah, anyway, are, are we going to get a, a winner from the gallery then? Right, they're refusing to stroke you. you <coughs> it made me Sorry. sneeze there. Ego. <laughs> <coughs> that's that's the flour and stuff on my face. I was so into flour it. in it. Got a little bit of stuff on my nose, I think. Uh huh. Mm. Okay. Well, that brings us to the end of this week's show. We've got just enough time to say find us on your social media platforms. Look for the Could TV and our website, which is the Could TV. And while you're there have a look at the support section for extra content, including outtakes. And like the juice left at the bottom of the bin on the day of the dustman call, we've just enough time to show you the photo of the week. And this time it comes from Mr. Willie Tugger. And he writes, Dear Chewing the Cud, Who'd have thought that semen dip would be so yummy? Oh, that's fresh semen dip. I think I know, Mr. Willie Tugger. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, I think he lives next door. And and have you uh, partaken? I've, in I've partaken in his semen many times. It's delicious. Oh, okay, great. Mm. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we will see you again soon. Bye. Bye.